Here we are, back on the road again. We're just on our way up to the Zigzag Railway to look at filming part two. We've got Luke in the back here. Hi Luke. Hi. Got a bit of road music going, we're up the mountains, sun is out, wind is down and it's quite uh, a little bit chilly but it's not unbearable. Yeah, we're going to go um, back to the Zigzag because Apparently in about two weeks, it's going to be opening back up to the public. So we thought we'd get in now and have a bit of a look around again and also visit the viaducts. And then after it's open, we'll be able to revisit and um, just see the difference. Do a bit of a, yeah. yeah, see how it was before and after. Yeah, a bit of a comparison. That's right. Uh, we're about, what, 20 minutes? We're about 20 minutes away. So we're not far from Mount Victoria at the Blue Mountains at the moment. So we've just arrived at the entrance to the Zigzag Railway. So this is the station which is just outside of the town of Clarence. And it's Clarence Station. Yeah. There's a car there. Well that's true actually Wayne because this is the this is Clarence Station, the next one down Zigzag I should say. That's right. And the old sawmill we visited is that, that's right. down there. That's right. So where Luke climbed inside the uh, Yeah. It's a bit like deja carriage. vu. Yeah, kind of feel like we've Come home again. Yeah. This road's a little bit bumpy. Yeah, we still haven't made a, a decent dent in the road yet. They'll oh. have to fix this road up if we're going to have people coming back. Well, I think it should be, uh, it should should be, be great. Or it should be graded anyway. Well, that's right. Because it is very rough. Here we are again, Luke. How's that, eh? We we're going to go through the tunnel. We've just found a track. So I think you might use that just to see what's on the other side of the hill. It's a snake. Is it a copper snake or is it a brown? Oh, how... Watch him, watch him, watch him. Do There'll I be run? more here. There's one. Do I run? He's a baby. He's a baby. Watch it. Do walk I backwards. Run? Walk backwards. He's smelling you. Oh no. What is it? What sort of snake is it? it? I don't know if it's a copper or a brown. It's got too many colours on. It's a baby. It is a baby. But there'll be more here. There'll be a nest of them. Just watch your ear. It's hard to see. I didn't see him. I walked over him. Oh, can I run? So you could have trod on him? Yep. I thought Luke just thought he saw a branch or something. Yeah. Stop. Okay, so what we've got here, we had some tape across the um, track. We didn't know what it was, but what's happened is the tree's fallen. Actually, well, no, 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 I think they've been lopped, Wayne. Because yeah, they, they have, because you said they've just been freshly cut. I right? think they're getting, they're preparing so yeah. they can have the, the trains through here, the yeah, locos. Yeah. Um, and I think they're making it safe by lopping the trees first. You reckon we get through it? Just watch out for snakes. Okay. Okay, well, we've made an executive decision that we're not going to go through the tunnel at this stage. Um, there could be some snakes in this uh, debris here. So I think we'll drive up and over the, over the tunnel. Alright, let's retreat. Okay. Exit, stage right. Yeah. yeah, it wasn't like this the other day, but um, I would say they're getting ready for the opening in a couple of weeks.
and as we approach the coal skip we go to have a bit of a look inside and what do we find? What's that? What did you find? I found a Luke! Ah! <laughs> We've just gone our way to the viaducts and we've just come across this small railway station. Um, not sure which station it is, the signs have been removed. So we'll have to look into this. We found a fire trail. We're just coming up. Uh, we're struggling a little bit. The old uh, Soul Man Mobile. But uh, we just saw a Land Cruiser come up here about five minutes ago. And we're just wondering where he's going. And we can go where he goes. We hope. Let's just see, yeah. He's a bit rough though, I've got to say. We've had a bit of, bit of terrain. So this looks like an abandoned picnic area. Yeah, I mean there's barbecues and chairs and tables. Yeah, look at this. It's all been, yeah. We're just... probably about 500 metres from the road, from the highway, from the, um, from the road. Um, here's some more. Wow. Yeah, this track just keeps going. Yeah, I think we should take something up, uh, take uh, a look from the air because uh, looking at this track here, it goes on and I think it goes right up here. these zigzag sheds at the moment just at Lithgow so a couple of years ago the zigzag sheds burnt down in a bushfire and they lost most of their rolling stock they've just been rebuilding all the stock back up now and it's about to open in the next few weeks you can see all the bits and pieces they use here a lot of stuff was in the fire it's all been just dumped in the middle here you can see up there the bottom points so that's the bottom points where they control the switch gear and there's a mountain goat up there. If he walks down there... He might charge you too. Oh, he protects the place. Out of the way, guys. 
<laughs> He's coming down. He's coming for you, Jeff. Hey, Jeff, get in the car. <laughs> I just gotta watch he doesn't charge. I can't get back. <laughs> he won't let me pass. <laughs> I'm just hoping he doesn't charge for me. I'll make a run up to the points. You reckon while I've got him, uh, while you've got him distracted? He's not shy, is he? Jeff, you got the goat under control? Yeah, I've got him in the corner at the moment. So yeah, this is amazing. This is the uh, the line that's being used. This is the old zigzag line. And uh, it goes right up here. So this is the lower point station. This is where they do change the switch gear on the points for all the zigzag railway. So you can see the arms in there where they pull them back and it moves the points across. Yeah, these are the old tracks. Oh, you gotta get a photo on this, Luke. You can go inside, I think. Perfect, yeah. The whole place to ourselves. So, this is the bottom point station. This is the lowest point here. This is the shunter. This is a shunt loco. So, when we were at Clarence, we're at the top point? No, the top point's near the end before it drops off. Okay. Somebody's got their suitcase. Okay, we're just in a shunter at the moment. Um, this is the brake system. We haven't got any dynamic brakes here, but we've got the forward reverse controller and we've got our accelerator controller here. All this has worked pneumatically with air for the brakes to release the air to make the calipers close. This over here is our parking brake, which is currently on. Um, and we've got all our, our pneumatic gauges, air gauges, all our amp meters and RPM, everything just to here. But um, yeah, a little tiny shutter. They go really well. Let's go aboard. System pretty fancy back in those days for the old 24 volt timber carriage. 24 volt bulkhead lights I used to install these on the old um, timber carriages.
the old red telephone box. Yeah, this is the old red telephone box. Back in our day. Quick loot, lock the door. Hey, let me out. Let me out. Lights, so they change the red to green, knowing which way the train's going. That's the old couplers down here. This one's open. And that's your air lines for your brakes. Well, guys, this is open. These ones go back to the 1800s. That one's open. This is a, um, a really old built timber carriage. The old design doors here, the old hingy on the outside and windows. So we've just come up to another train carriage. This uh, this looks fairly new. This um, uh, yeah, path. looks like it's been laid within the last couple of months because yeah. it's, it's still curing. But, um, they're getting ready for the opening. So it's better seating. This is first class. It's first class. I wouldn't call this first class. Oh, bit of damage. Bit of, bit of wear and tear, as we say. Bit of wood right there. What's in here? Go and look. Can you come? Yeah, go and go. This is a dining carriage. Well, yeah, so the table's in between. This yeah. is first class. You feel like the thing's moving, don't you, as you? Yeah. So, this is your dining, you get, your, get a few beverages just in here. What food? A pie would go down quite nicely at the moment. Here's a couple of wild pies there. A couple of wild pies. Yeah. What does this say? If you have an interest in railways or history and would like to become part of a great team of volunteers, ask your train crew or station staff for a membership to join Zigzag Railway. Must be over 16 years old to join. Well, that puts you out, doesn't it, Luke? He hit the old latch. What's that? Well, I think we've come to the end of the line. Maturu. Friendly goat. No, I think he's okay. He's a wild goat, but I think he's. I don't think he's going to charge. He's looking though, isn't he? Yeah. Is he not hurting? No. Thomas. Here's Thomas. Yeah, I've ridden on him, uh, Luke. When Matthew was only about four.
the end of our day at the Zigzag Railway. We hope you enjoyed this video and give it a like if you did enjoy it. But if you want to see more videos like this in future, please subscribe to our channel. Hooroo!